really good week. I am back to show you some of our gorgeous new fabrics this week. Um, it's been a crazy week here. Um, we've been so, so busy. Um, we've got a new member of the team starting next week, which is really exciting. We have had a couple of massive fabric deliveries in, so I'm going to show you all of the fabric goodies in a minute. Um, and yeah, we've just been um, redoing things in the studio, tidying the shop up a little bit. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen we've repainted the wall behind the counter and turned it into a frame wall which I absolutely love in fact next week I might show you that um, and a couple of the other things that we've done but yeah it's just been really really crazy but really really good so I hope wherever you are you're having a good week too um, but as I said we've had so many new fabrics in some old favorites and some brand new ones and I thought it was about time I gave you a little peek into what we've got so you'll notice behind me I'm in a slightly different part of the shop today and up here you might be able to see um, that's our makers gallery so if you um, buy fabric from us or um, come to one of our classes or buy a pattern and then send us a photo or tag us on Instagram um, we pop them up on our makers gallery wall and that um, again I'll, I'll probably show you next week I might do an updated tour of the shop that um, now has a couple of hundred photos on it and it is so lovely every day to be able to see all of your makes um i really really love it, it makes me so happy um what else do i want to tell you oh um i'll show you quickly what i'm wearing this is just a wearable toile of i have to stand quite far back and this is a bit too short which is why it's a wearable toile um this is the pauline alice all day dress which is a jersey dress pattern. It's got um, princess seams down the front on this version. Um, the waist is ever so slightly too high for me. So again, on the subsequent version, I have lengthened it by about an inch and lengthened the skirt because don't tell anyone, but my skirt on this isn't hemmed because it's jersey. Um, you can't really tell. And because, um, it was just a wearable toile. I thought, oh, no one will notice. Um, but now I've told all of you. So if you ever see me, if you come into the shop and you ever see me wearing it, it's not hemmed. Um, okay, so I'm going to start, um, because I've been talking about jersey, I'm going to start with some of the beautiful new jerseys that we've got in. Um, we have got so many gorgeous things. I've just picked out a selection of my favourites. Actually, I've got some down here, which is why I keep going like this, because I'm stroking them. Um, we've got some beautiful new art gallery jerseys in. This one is possibly my favourite. I'm going to show you this to you. Um, this is Aqua de Rose. And it is the most stunning floral print. Um, those of you that have used Art Gallery jerseys before will know they're a really, really good quality cotton jersey. So 95% cotton, so they've got a nice weight to them, nice drape, um, and they've got a really good, uh, they've got 5% spandex, they've got a really good recovery. So if you do that, they ping back into shape nicely and they wash really well. And also, they just have the most stunning prints. We don't get a huge amount of them in. We're not um, one of the stockists that stocks every single um, collection that Art Gallery release. But I do go through and pick the favourite ones I love and get them in from time to time. And we've got three in at the moment. So this is the first one. And I've actually cut some of this. And I'm going to make a Tilly and the Button Agnes dress. Um, so it's the Agnes dress, uh, Agnes top pattern, which you'll probably be familiar with. I'm going to hack it into a dress with a pleated skirt. Um, or you could use the Colette Manetta pattern. And look how lovely their new packaging is. Isn't it beautiful? Um, I'll link all of the pattern suggestions down below as well. Um, but yeah, any of these art gallery fabrics would be perfect for those. Or for a top, um, you could also use it for... Sorry, I'm just picking up the patterns from down here. You could also use it for this uh, Liesl & Co Maritime uh, top pattern, which is a really, really nice. Uh, she's got a stripy top, which always goes funny on the camera. Um, it's a really nice boat neck tee um, pattern. Again, I'll link that down below. 
I love this. How stunning is this? The colours, it's such a bold print and the colours are quite bright, but there's enough muted colours in there for it to not look too OTT, I think. So I can't wait to make something out of that. Uh, another art gallery, we've got this one, which is called Wild Bloom Spices. And it's a black background, you can probably see with these stunning florals on, with an almost like mustardy gold outline. So pretty. I haven't done this for a while where I've done my uh, over the fence impression. Um, yeah, I just love that one. Hopefully you can see that. And then the final art gallery one that we've got in at the moment is this. And this is called Honeydew Florets. And it's a beautiful, soft, sort of navy with these lovely, unusual flowers on. I'm not sure what flowers they're supposed to be. If you've got any ideas, let me know. So lovely. Uh, again, cotton jersey, really, really nice. It would make a beautiful top um, or dress love this one but i've picked some of the aqua de rose because um i think it's time for me to make a really bright um spring dress i'm fed up of all the gray now so lots of the fabrics that i'm showing you today are actually quite spring like um although we've got some really snuggly jerseys um they're all in relatively spring colors because let's face it um we've had enough of winter now if you're uh, up here in the northern hemisphere okay the next one i'm going to show you we've got a couple of gorgeous stripes in this one is called jewels i'll hold it up to the camera it is a super super soft honestly i wish you could reach in through the camera and feel this it's a loop back cotton sweatshirting slash french terry so you can see it's got quite a uh, wide weave on it and it is so so soft it's just stunning it would make a gorgeous slouchy tee or jumper or a cardigan um, i think i'm gonna make a slouchy top from it but i was also thinking it would make a beautiful um Blackwood cardigan from Helen's Closet um, because it's just got so much drape. But it's 100% cotton as well, so it just feels just gorgeous. Um, I really, every time I cut this for someone, I have a little stroke of it because it's just so beautiful. That's that one. We've got a couple of other stripes in, um, which you can find on the website. I don't know why I'm doing that, because I'll link it down below. But you can find them on the website. Um, and this one is another one of my favourites. It is quite a wide, viscose... Uh, it's 100% viscose jersey. And it's a light grey and light blue mull um, with quite wide stripes. They're about two centimetres wide. And again, this would make such a lovely spring slash summer dress. Um, and I just like the fact that because the colours are quite soft, it brightens things up a little bit. Because it's 100% viscose, it's really soft. Um, it's got a really nice um, stretch to it. It's a little bit thinner than, say, the Art Gallery cotton jersey. Um, but you can see there, you can't see through it. Um, so it's still perfect for for dresses and tops and things but that one's lovely um that one is called uh spring mall and that's on the website as well so i will link it down below um and any of those top patterns that i've just shown you would work for that one we've then got a couple of heavier fabrics in so we've got this is called soft spot and i definitely have a soft spot for it it's a really heavy bolt so um this is a grey, it's a really soft grey loop back sweatshirting. Hold it up this way for you. It's got a really soft grey background with woven cream spots. Let me just wait for it to focus. There we go. And again, it's got a loop back there. And this I think is also 100% cotton. 
um, and it would make the, yes it is 100% cotton and it's super super wide, it's 180 centimetres wide, um, so normally uh, for jersey fabrics or sweatshirting they do tend to be wider than cottons but normally they're about 150, 160 centimetres wide, this is 180. Um, um, it would make a gorgeous South Bank sweater dress. It would make a lovely, lovely linden sweatshirt, which you probably don't need me to show you the pattern for because I've made it so many times and talked about it so many times. Um, yeah, this is just lovely. It's such an, a good neutral as well. It would be a great uh, wardrobe staple. And because it is relatively lightweight for a sweatshirting, it will take you through spring quite nicely. Just hoping that the camera focuses in. There you go. So that one's called Soft Spot, um, and I definitely have a soft spot for it. I think I already did that pun, but it's just too good not to repeat. Now, uh, the final, is it gonna be the final one? Actually, I might have one more that I'm gonna show you. Um, but the second, so the penultimate one that I'm going to show you again is another very heavy bolt. And this is, sorry, I was just uh, being distracted by something. This is a stunning See You at Six sweatshirting slash French Terry. Now, the lighting in here, I don't think is going to show this off properly. So I'm going to insert a picture um, where you can see it properly. But it's actually a really soft pink really really soft baby pink, not even baby pink, lighter than that, with these mustard, let me stand back, these big bold mustard uh, brush strokes and again it is got a really high, it has I should say, terrible grammar. It's 96% organic cotton and 4% spandex so it's got um, bit of recovery in there and it's a loop back again so it's super super soft against the skin and it's just such an unusual print and I think this would make again an amazing sweater dress or sweater so or maybe uh, the toaster which um, I haven't got on the table to show you but I will link down below uh, would be gorgeous in this Sorry the colours aren't showing up as well as I would like, but I will pop a picture in, as I say, so that you can see it. And um, mustard is such an in colour at the moment, but it's quite hard. If you're yellow toned like I am, it's quite hard to wear it against your skin, uh, against your face. I think I've talked about this before. Um, but what I like about this one is that because the main colour is the, the light pink, um, it breaks it up quite a lot. Um, but it's just so soft and snuggly. I could snuggle it loads. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh yes, so we have had um, a couple of our old favourites in. Um, so we've got some more of our fine knits, which I've showed you before, um, which are great for making cardigans. We've got those in um, a couple of different colours. We've got some more colours in our Beatrice. So we've got a uh, grey, a softer grey and a softer blue mull um, in our Beatrice Ponty, which actually I've made um, another version, so the one with the longer waist and the longer skirt out of that um, and they're really really lovely and we've also got hold on one second this old favourite back so this is Charlotta this is the embossed um, X designer super super soft viscose blend Ponty um, it is so stunning I've made um, a linden sweatshirt from this black version let me hold it up so you can see how lovely is that um, and I've also made a sweater dress from the navy version um, and we've managed to get our hands on a little bit more of the black um, so that is also now back up on the website I tell you what guys fabric bars are really heavy um, I should do more lifting, get rid of the bingo wings. Um, so those are some of the jerseys that I wanted to show you. Super soft, super snuggly, perfect for the fact that now we are getting some more blue skies, but it's still absolutely freezing. Um, they're really, really lovely. They'll take you into spring really well. I just realised actually there were two more that I wanted to show you. 
there's there's loads more um so check out the website if you want to see them all but there were two more that i just couldn't not show you so this no in fact in fact there's even more jersey because there's another two that i can't not show you either they're just too gorgeous um this is a textured ponty called royal china and it is a white base with the most beautiful, vivid blue, sort of uh, Chinese style print on it. I'll hold it up for you to see. Um, and this is quite a, um, for a ponte, it's quite light. It's lighter than, say, the embossed uh, ponte that I was showing you earlier. So this would make a beautiful um, dress. It would make a stunning um, Pauline Alice or Dare dress. It would make a great uh, Tilly and the Buttons Zadie dress. It would even make a good Manetta dress because it's got quite a lot of stretch in it. So um, that one was just too beautiful not to show you. And then we also have, I'm always so conscious when I do these videos, basically I take half of the stock off the shelf, pile it all up, create a mess, and then I have to sort it all out. Um, but it's worth it to show these to you guys. We also have this amazing viscose jersey. It's called Mademoiselle and it is a soft viscose uh, I'm trying to hold them up so they're the right way up sorry for the uh, camera bouncing up and down because the bolts move the table um, but it is uh, obviously a black background really really dark black and little pink ladies very elegant let me uh, get the camera to focus very elegant chic pink ladies um, and again I think this would make a lovely lovely dress you could use the manetta pattern something quite simple because obviously you've got the little ladies on there so you don't want too many darts or anything that are going to cut their heads off or um, distort them too much or you could do um, like a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top or the Maritime top that I've shown you or even a um, Tilly and the Buttons Coco just something really simple I also think, and this is possibly what I might do with it, it would make a gorgeous um, Appleton wrap dress um, because there's not too many, there's obviously the neck band, but there, other than that, there isn't too much to break up the print. Um, but that was just so unusual and so pretty. I wanted to show that to you. And we've also got some lovely new scubas in, which again, you can check out on the website. We've got the famous Cobra Corsage um, scuba back in. We've only got literally a couple of metres left because um, I could only get a tiny, tiny amount from the supplier. We've also got um, this beautiful old gold scuba that you can see on the top there behind me and the Midnight Rosette, which I won't show you because I've shown you before. Um, but I'll pop a quick picture in of Susie wearing her lovely Midnight Rosette dress um, because we've got that one back in too. Um, and then I am just going to show you two other um, ponties because I think you'll love it. Okay, you can see how high the pile is getting now. So this is, these are really heavy as well, so I don't think I'm going to be able to hold them up too close. But this is um, Sophia. So it is, again, another textured ponty. I love textured fabrics. I love something that's a little bit unusual, um, a little bit different. Um, and this is the purple colourway that we've got. It's like a beautiful vintage floral. And it's a uh, polyviscose uh, spandex mix. So again, it's got lots of uh, recovery in it. Um, it's a great weight. And it's still got quite a lot of drape to it. And I'm thinking I'm going to make, I've cut some of this and I've washed it ready to go. So I've got no excuse. I'm thinking I might make a sew over it heather dress out of this. I think that would be lovely. Um, I just love the colours and like I say, the unusual texture on it. Hoping you can see that. And then, oh, let me move that out of the way. We also have it in a blue colourway, which has got more... Um, sort of bright or brighter uh, like mustards and pinks in it as well as just the blues um, which is so pretty 
me hold that up so you can see. And it's on, both of them are on a black base, um, although the purple one is a, a more sort of um, really, really deep plum rather than black. Um, but you could wear both of them with tights, which I think is always a really important thing to consider, especially in this weather. But yeah, I just wanted to show you those because they're so lovely. Right, that's enough of the jerseys and ponties. As I say, we've got lots more. Um, but next I'm going to move on and show you some of our beautiful cotton lawns because I think we're all, as I said earlier, a little bit fed up of um, the greyness and the cold. And um, the cotton lawns that we've got in are so perfect for spring, summer mates. And the prints are stunning. So just bear with me while I put this lot away and I'll uh, be back in two seconds. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm talking at 100 miles an hour today, but that's because there's just so much beautiful stuff to show you. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you the cotton lawns like I was telling you so these are 100% caution they are absolutely stunning they're very 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 similar to uh, Liberty Tana lawn in feel they've got a really really soft feel this one I'm gonna have to stand back for because it's got a really large scale print on it this is called Marabou Mosaic. You might have seen it before. It was around um, quite a lot last year. But this is a newer colorway with a beautiful navy blue background and soft pinks and mustard. Um, but yeah, I'll stand back to show you this one because it is quite large scale. Uh, you could make the most beautiful dress from this. You would want a pattern that didn't have too many darts and things in. So maybe like the Colette Laurel dress, um, like a simple shift. Or even the Avid Seamstress Day dress would be fabulous. You just have to make sure when you're using a large scale print like this that you just think about where it's going to be. So if you're going to chop the head off of a bird, um, perhaps have it in a less notable place, no, noticeable, get my words out, place um, than right up close to your face, for example. If you could have a bird that was. Um, place kind of around here that would be great but obviously watch out for um, birds and birds heads in places where you don't necessarily want them to be um, but yeah that is such a stunning print and I think actually I will make a um, Colette Laurel from that because it's just too beautiful to let it go without taking some for myself another one they're all stunning i'm going to keep using way too many superlatives today because they're all just so lovely this one is uh jardin de fleur garden of flowers and um isn't this just the most beautiful lawn you have ever seen i mean could you get any more realistic than this Actually, you can because it's obviously a digital print. But what I like about this is, although it's a digital print, hold it up for you. Uh, hello. Um, it doesn't look too photographic because I have a bit of a thing. I am. Um, I love the fact that nowadays you can get beautiful digital prints on lawns and other fabrics, and they come up looking absolutely stunning and very realistic but I don't like ones that look like they are actual photographs if that makes sense so this one looks it looks real but it doesn't look photographic in a way it's probably just my personal take on it but um, I love it it would make an absolutely fantastic top or dress um, wouldn't a by hand London and a dress in this look amazing perfect wedding guest dress perfect summer dress um, it would also make a lovely top all of these lawns um, could obviously be used for the same projects um, the grain line Hadley I think would be a really really lovely one for these lawns I'll pop a picture of that up there we have got it on the shelf but um, I'll carry on showing you the fabrics instead um, I might grab the pattern at the end this one Again, is a nice, big, bold print. It's on a navy background. It's got um, mustard accents and pink accents and then these big, bold florals. It is called Okra Violet. And 
isn't it just lovely again this one isn't as big a print let me just hold it up so you can see this one isn't as big a print as the um, marabou mosaic the birds um, so it's quite large scale but it's not huge um, so you wouldn't have to think quite as much about the pattern placement although again I probably would check where I was putting my pattern pieces it would make an amazing shirt so maybe a grain line archer or um, Tilling the Buttons Rosa shirt, um, the Liesl & Co, I think it's called the Classic shirt, I'll link it down below, um, would be stunning in this. Um, we've also got, there's just so many and they're so beautiful, the uh, Tropical Stems, which is, there you go, a lovely soft pink background with the turquoisey tealy leaves, I'd say it's more teal actually, and then the pinky red uh, florals. You might recognise this, I'll pop a picture up, because it was used by Colette for their um, penny dress, their penny shirt dress um, on their sample. Um, again, quite clearly, it looks amazing. So you could do um, a shirt or shirt dress out of this, or something a little bit more simple if you wanted to and just let the prints speak for themselves. I love that one. Sorry guys, the light is going a little bit now so I'm just gonna keep plowing through really quickly and hope that um, they don't all start turning yellow because the daylight is going. Um, this is an incredible brush strokes print and I think it's called um, Summer Splash. I'll stand back again. Can you imagine an amazing um, dress made from this. I think this would make a beautiful avid seamstress day dress. I think I've actually seen some versions made from this print but in the darker colourways. Um, I thought because we've got spring and summer coming up, the um, bright bold colours would look really really lovely. Um, or again, if you didn't want to go for a whole dress in it because um, you weren't as confident in the really really bright colours then it would be a lovely lovely shirt or blouse. Um, the grain line farrow dress would also be a lovely one and then I'm just going to show you one more actually two more keep doing that it always reminds me of you know, when you go to an exercise class and they say ten more to go and then you get to ten and they say two more to go um, except this is hopefully much more pleasant um, this is the jungle tropics um, cotton lawn and it is again another one of those big bold um, foliage prints that i love we've got foliage canopy back um, which i've shown you a couple of times and i made um, my so over it um, penny dress from uh, we've got that back in as well, but this one is a slightly different print because it's got the um, black background and the bright coloured uh, leaves interspersed through the greens as well. So you've got oranges and purples and reds. Um, and that, of course, would make a lovely sew over it penny or any other um, shirt dress or shirt or any of the other patterns that I've already mentioned. Now there is one more um, new lawn I want to show you because it is just irresistible. So bear with me one second because I'm just going to grab it from the shelf. Okay, so, ta-da! Oh, I've just realised I'm showing it to you upside down. Ta-da! This is Lowry and it is a cotton lawn, but it is so soft. I think I'm showing it to you upside down again. Hold on, it is so soft and so drapey. It has a feel um, very similar to double gauze. And look at those colors and that unusual print. Isn't that amazing? I just, when um, I saw this at the suppliers, one, because of the feel of it, because it is just so soft and snuggly. Um, and two, because of those beautiful blues and turquoises, and again, that very fashionable mustard, um, I just couldn't resist it. It is just, oh, it's divine. It would make, actually someone said to me the other day, wouldn't it just make the most lovely simple scarf? So you could just cut it um, 
and do a rolled hem all the way around on either side and just make a beautiful, beautiful scarf. Um, but you could also make a lovely, lovely blouse or shirt um, or even a dress. And in fact, someone on Instagram said, wouldn't it make the most beautiful Tilly and the Buttons Clement skirt, which is a very simple um, skirt pattern from Tilly's Book Club at First Stitch. And it's got a straight waistband and then like a gathered skirt with pockets. And this would be amazing in that. Let me hold it up the right way again so you can see. But it's called Lowry because obviously it's very um, inspired by the Lowry print style. Uh, sorry, Lowry um, art style. And it's just so unusual. Um, I think also it would make a really nice um, closet case Cali shirt. Um, a softer version of it. But yeah, I wish you could reach in to these videos, as I say, and just feel them because they're just so beautiful. This one and the other lawns that I've shown you are all really soft, as I say, they've got a feel very, very similar to Liberty Tana lawn. Um, but they are a bit crisper because obviously that's the nature of cotton lawn. Um, just like Tana lawn. But this one, because it's a super soft, it's almost like a brushed cotton lawn um, or a, a gauze. Um, but it's not see-through. i hold it up for you. You can see, I think it's going to be upside down now, but that's the only way I can hold it up at the same time. Um, it's not see-through. It is just beautiful. And if I don't get around to making anything from it, because I don't have time, I am cutting some, and I am going to make myself at least a scarf from it, because... Um, I think this is one of those prints that you, you really don't see too often and I um, am not letting it get away without getting some. So that's the cotton lawns I wanted to show you. I've shown you lots of jersey. We've also got some beautiful crepes in as well. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of those. Again, you can check them out on the website. We've added a couple of new features to the website this month. So we've added a new arrival section um, where anything that comes in will go into the new arrival section for two to three weeks, or obviously if it sells out, it will go out earlier. Um, and then it will move into the main part of the website. You can can still find everything under the fabric sections and obviously we organize everything by fabric type as well so it's nice and easy for you to navigate but there is a new arrival section now um, and we've also added if for those of you that are local um, and watch this we've also added a collect from shop option so you can go onto the website you can nab your fabric um, before it sells out and then you can pick it up from the shop whenever you're ready um, because I know that has been one of the challenges for you guys and um, you'll see something on one of the vlogs or on Instagram and then when you come into the shop a week or so later um, sometimes they're gone because um, obviously with selling online that's what happens but now we've added that so that it's easier for local people too um so yeah i can't stop touching this i'm going to grab a couple of the crepes and show you those before i go so the first one i'm going to start with is our tales of the orient crepe now i am in love with it I'm, I'm in love with all of our fabrics of course and i'm in the very lucky position where i'm the person that chooses all of our fabrics um so i don't pick anything that i don't love and i don't think that you guys will love but this one, I really, really love. Um, it's called Tales of the Orient, and it is a black crepe. It's a really, really dark black, and it's got these beautiful oriental, um, almost uh, painted effect um, print. You've got your koi carp. There are some beautiful birds and some beautiful florals. Um, it's just stunning. Uh, we had it in before and Samantha from Sew by the Seaside made the most beautiful um, Nina Lee Q dress, which I'll pop a picture in here so you can see it's stunning. Uh, and I'll link the pattern for that down below as well. Uh, we've also got a uh, famed Cobra Corsage, which we've had on the cotton lawn. And I made a So Over Eve dress, which you might have seen on one of the previous vlogs. Uh, we've also had it on Scuba, which I've made a uh, pencil skirt from. And again, I think I've shown you that. And as I say, we've got a few meters of that back on Scuba. And we've got it on a crepe. And the great thing about the crepes is the colors come out that little bit more vivid, a little bit more vibrant um, than on some of the lawns. So I think, although I've already got 
two things on two different base, base cloths with the same print. I think I'm going to have to make something from the crepe because it's just so lovely. Uh, we've also got another one of our old favourites that we've got on a lawn, which is now in on a crepe, which is the Chaffinch Bow um, in navy, which is lovely. Let me... Uh, sorry guys, I've got a big pile of fabric under the camera. Which I'm trying not to topple over. Again, it's the same as the lawn, so you've got the little uh, birds and the pink and mustard accents uh, and navy. Navy and blue fabrics are our most popular selling fabrics, did you know? Um, so it's not black, it is um, anything with blue in is really, really, really popular. And I think that's because sometimes it's a bit easier to wear navy than it is to wear black. Um, but this just comes up that little bit brighter than it does on a lawn and obviously it's got a lot more drape to it. So again, this would make a beautiful cue dress, it would make a beautiful um, avid seamstress day dress, um, it would make a gorgeous blouse, maybe like the sew over at Ella blouse, something like that. Um, anything that requires quite a bit of drape. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing which isn't actually a crepe, it is a chiffon and it is called Heavenly Blooms and look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful? Again it's another one of those where I really really wish you could feel it because it's so soft um, and it's got a large scale sort of muted floral with those pinks um, in that really love, lovely sort of soft finish. Um, it is quite sheer, so I would make um, maybe a pussy bow blouse out of this, um, something that you could wear a slip under, although obviously you could also line it. Um, but the uh, print on this was so beautiful, I couldn't resist it. Um, and if I get time, I would love to make a pussy bow blouse to wear with jeans um, out of this one. And I'd just wear like a little um, camisole underneath. Um, so, so pretty. So that one's called Heavenly Blooms. Right, I think I've shown you enough um, for now anyway to be getting on with. I am going to be making the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes dress, um, as I said, out of the beautiful Aqua de Rose art gallery fabric. And I'm also going to make a sew over it Heather dress from the Sophia Ponty that I showed you. And I will show you that um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And I will also, um, next time, hopefully next time, I will wear my red Beatrice Ponty version of the Pauline Alice Aldea pattern so that you can see the improvements that I've made where I've lowered the waist and lowered the hem a little bit. And that was actually the dress that I made on Christmas Day morning and wore on Christmas Day. So I hope um, that that has given you a little insight into the beautiful fabrics that we've got in the shop at the moment. Um, everything will be linked down below. And there was just one more thing I wanted to tell you. Um, because January was such a grey and horrible month, I have decided that in February we're going to do a weekly competition on Instagram. Sorry if you're not on Instagram, but it is the easiest way for us to do it. Um, we're going to do a competition every week and it's going to be called Sewers Faction Favourites. Um, you just need to use the hashtag Sewers Faction Favourite and you need to choose a fabric from our website and pop a picture on your Instagram of that fabric using the hashtag and tell us what you would make from it. And each week in February on, um, I was going to say the first Friday, the first Friday is today, but on the Fridays of um February from next week we will pick a winner and we will send them a meter of fabric because I want everyone to feel a little bit more bright and colorful um, than it has been over the last few weeks so if you want to enter that check out our Instagram feed um, where you can find all of the details but I hope you have a really really lovely week and I will see you again next week if you've liked the video do give us a thumbs up um, and hit subscribe so that you can see um, the rest of our videos which I try and put up weekly take care guys bye, bye.